ラーメン屋さんへ行きましょうせっかくの外出よ今日のお昼はラーメンその後メロンパン What's going on, YouTube? My name is Vanaman Distan, and welcome back to some King Koi Golden Love Rich. This is episode 40. If you've not seen the previous episode, go ahead and watch it right now. Anyways, let's get straight into this video. There's no time to waste, as always. Oh. Alrighty. Oh boy. Low key loud AF. お任せいい鳥パイタンの店調べてるよ。These two are in high spirits like usual. Oh, right. Hey, as far as lunch goes, would you two mind if we went for something other than ramen? Yeah, you heard me. I looked into a nice place. Soa. Ah, yes, Biddy's. Don't say that. Price wise, it was targeted at the rather elderly. But. For the time being, yellow was my highest priority over everything else. I wonder if it's like how we felt when we went to a high class French restaurant? It wasn't all laid back and relaxed like ramen or gyudon restaurants. I would agree if you would have called it hoity toity, but it felt like a moderately stringent restaurant to eat at. Figured Ella would enjoy it. We promised, didn't we? Oh, that's why she moaned like that. Alright, that was weird, but alright. That's a nice way of being like, oh, hey, I remember. Or, oh, for me, right? Just, oh! As for why I picked this restaurant, that was between Ella and I alone. Is that a kind of chilly out for that? It's already December, you know? Yeah, that sounds like she'd been awfully excited for this too. I was glad I brought them here with me. Hmm. Well, why don't you try the hot pot soba with duck, Ella? Yep, but you dip it in the hot pot here so it's warm when you eat it. I'm gonna go with a piled soba. That way I could give you my broth and it would be like you're eating it, poured style. I've always liked cold dishes, so it's fine. Why? With that settled. Alright. Well, it's not an inedible amount. You could totally eat it all if you're in the right mindset for it. Two helping worked out just about right to fill up Silver Stone. Two helpings? Oops. Yeah, soba enthusiasts go crazy for the stuff, but it's a little tough to eat. I'd rather have the standard in this. Yeah, 
毛と塗り両方二八と十割を一つずつ計四つ持ってきてちょうだいあおはいお願いしますわあ二八も十割も美味しいわ That's what matters most Slightly appetite killed spectacle was unfolding in the corner, but. Okay, Helen, yours is probably ready to eat now. Ah, hi. Nabe no bunka was shit day masuma. Nihondeva, Hontoni, Shoktak no wede, he was kano desme. Baijin sama odoroko yo ne. Hono aojiro y moe yats de, table no wede o nade ni sirno. Only high class places have these, so it's kind of exciting even for Japanese people. The flame bound hot pot was making lovely simmering noises. The duck and leek hot pot was in good shape. Well, you'd eat it like a normal hot pot, and then you could dip your soba noodles into it once it starts to get low. We'd better dig in too, much, much. It's herring? I'd ordered the lunch combo, which included a small side of tempura, rock fish, and simmered herring. What the freak is that? It's a kind of fish. Ah, thank you. They've got really tiny bones and are rarely eaten, but they are fairly common at soba restaurants. It seemed herring soba left quite an impact on people. Now that I thought it through, herring soba was a real mystery. Why herring? Her, her, her ring? Her ring? Her ring? Of all things? Her ring. Her ring. I'm sure mature adults would have had it as a side with drinks, but it's delicious enough to eat like a regular dish. I also had an exceptional reputation with foreigners. For that matter, her ring was in the combination meal Sylvie ordered herself. Duck meat. That's pretty wild. Duck meat can be pretty fatty, and adding it to the hot pot totally changes the flavor, doesn't it? Knock it off with the repulse of the imagined fizz. In any case, Ella appeared receptive to everything so far, and I couldn't help but feel relieved. And then, when it came to the all too vital soba, once Ella had opened up the hot pot, she dipped her noodles under the remaining broth. Slurp noises. Oh. Like I said before, slurping like that won't work. Dying while you're eating is so embarrassing. <laughs> oh man, I'm saying it because I'm dying all the time while I eat. Like, probably 75% of the time I'm choking on something. Oh my god. Oh yeah, hadn't she taken an interest in Solo's help because of some conversation about slurping? <laughs> I was upset she wasn't able to do it well. I was sure she was teary eyed because her throat hurt, but. なってないわね、エル。そんな形だけ学んだ作法では何の意味もないわよ。ね。どう、どういうことでしょう。麺類を擦するという文化はもともとは麺を途中で噛まない。噛んだものをお皿に戻さないという食の美意識から生まれた概
Even though she was eating an ordinary bowl of cold soba noodles, she had this very refined look there. The other restaurant goers were just as captivated, even if you discounted the fact she was eating enough for four people. Crazy how much that woman could eat. Ella imitated her and ate a mouthful of bone of noodles. This got sighs of admiration from the other customers. Ella wouldn't be outdone when it came to manners, especially when it came to maintaining her noble, picture-perfect appearance. Oh. Okay. Slurp, slurp. Beats me. More importantly... How's your very first soba experience? Guess what? Oh, okay. Thanks for confirming. It can be pretty heavy handed though. The items she listed off were either kneaded, kneaded, netted with, or made of buckwheat and could easily be found on a grocery store shelf. That would be too heavy to carry on your own, so why don't you make do with manja? Oh! That was Jan, sorry. As long as you enjoyed it, that's what matters. As promised, I swapped dipping sauce with Ellen and we enjoyed our meals in various ways. Everyone was beaming with delight when we walked out of the restaurant. That's just how common buckwheat is. It's one of its many charms. We'd had a great time even though we made this trip into town on a whim. Most notably, it doesn't feel as awkward between them anymore. Borderline fishy mood between Ella and myself. Yep. It's not like that, honestly. Randall's teasing made it difficult for me to focus on the good mood Ella and I had going. I felt pretty good about it, actually. I wonder how Ella felt. Even though things had been pretty weird between us after that one-sided kiss earlier. With that taken into account, I wondered how she felt now. I hadn't gone to ask her before. Just how did she feel about me? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah? Were Reyna and Sylvie being considered, or was it what Ella wished for? When the time our day was through, she and I managed to find some time alone together. Oh, yeah. Sylvia and Reyna eventually made their way to the music hall, leaving Ella and me to our own devices. The academy was eerily quiet after clubs let out. It worked out perfectly for a place to talk in private. Yes. Oh, wait. I need to apologize first. Sorry, I was kind of overbearing. Your sudden kiss is... Yeah. <laughs> well, at this point, I can't help but wonder how it even went. Even now, I'd still like to kiss you again. <laughs> Ella turned away looking distressed. <laughs> oh man, don't do that. I hesitated when I saw her reaction. I guess what happened yesterday really bothered her. I should have taken things slower. Let me say it again. I love you, Ellie. <laughs> How do you feel about me? I wasn't going to suddenly kiss her again. And I wanted to make sure her feelings came first. Ella looked distraught and her eyes darted all over as if she was searching for an answer. In distress. Not too promising, huh? 
ありがとうございますその気持ちはとても嬉しい。Are you sure you're happy? You still look a little distressed. ですが、すいません。答えられません。Ooh. Oh, that's strike two, I like why? I see. I expected as much, but it was still depressing to hear all over again. その、わ私のことにこんなに協力していただいてるのに申し訳ない。こちらの身勝手ばかり。And watch it be for the reason of her night duties. And、uh, that's whack. Ah, so, the order of the Imagine we're doing a hypothetical because it's a visual novel and usually there's happy endings, but at least from what I've seen so far with the roots that I've played on every visual novel. <laughs> Imagine. They actually called off the pretend lovers thing, and like that's just how it ended. Man, that'd be pretty depressing. But hey, everybody's so used to the good endings. Like, I, I wouldn't be mad for a little change. I'd be sad, don't get me wrong, but it's still like a nicer, it's a nice change of things, you know, because like I just said, everybody's just too used to the good ending, <laughs> including myself. No, no, that part's fine. It's not a bother. I consider it a perk, honestly. <laughs> um, I would still like to eat dinner together, too. Although I came across as unmanly, it was the least I could do in order to make the situation more convenient for me. Literally convenient. I'd been shot down completely. A clean break here and now would probably would have been the cooler approach. But if it would only inconvenience her, as long as I had that excuse, I wanted to indulge in this complacency for just a short while longer. So, you got that. Christ, are you really just gonna leave it off like that? That really is depressing. Luckily, Ella was delighted by it. Our own senses of complacency meshed well. There was no reason to deliberately end this arrangement. Yes. It was only in terms of complacency we matched up well. Huh? ほんとに楽しい。あなたのところへ行くのは毎日楽しみですので、このまま続けられたらと思っています。Oh, where did this mood come from? Honestly, it would have been fine without using me to help with her fencing if it were necessary. But maybe I wasn't just being used. Hang on a sec. Hi. Ella, how do you feel about me? I casually asked her. I was able to ask her point blank now that I'd been turned down once already. Strange how that worked, huh? You like me, don't you? Okay. How much? <laughs> Both said, How much? I took a step toward her own reflex. I obviously knew she liked me as a friend, but based on what she just said, maybe there was more? I couldn't deny how hopeful I felt in that very moment. How much do you like me? Uh oh. Just like what happened yesterday, there was very little distance between us, and Ella's face was flushed bright red. Adorable. <laughs> Even so, she stood her ground. Come to think of it, she didn't budge yesterday either. This much? I leaned my face towards her, giving her enough space to pull away if she wanted to. But I was careful to make that fact very clear to her. Ella pressed her lips against mine. Oh, all right. We're feeling ballsy today. It was the same alluring sensation as yesterday. I would have loved it if we could have stayed like this. That wasn't important right now. Instead, I pulled away. Does that mean nothing will happen with us then? Hi. Ella had accepted the kiss itself, but did not hesitate to nod her head in that information. She liked me enough to give me her lips, but not enough to allow us to be as close as lovers. It was a sensibility that didn't make any sense to me. Oh, nah, we better break that cycle. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'll save you. That's crazy. Then how'd you, where'd you come from? The romance is just. Unnecessary. 
No way her parents just had her and that's it. So that's what this was about. It all fit together in a sense, but it wasn't a reason a modern Japanese person like myself could accept. So it's because of your family? This honestly was like something out of medieval times. I understood what was going on now. As I was engaged. That in and of itself was a shock to the system. But it was so like Ellie to prioritize her duties above herself. Wait, 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 wait. Are we just assuming she's engaged? Or like what she said means she's engaged? I'm not understanding. Maybe I'm a little slow. I don't know. Hold on. Let me read that again. Oh, yeah. I think she got set up for engagement. I, I'm just not sure what betrothed, betrothed means. Look. Uh, bet betrothed? Bet 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 betrothed? I don't know. Where and to whom? Okay. The whom? Yeah, I'm assuming she got set up a marriage. Oh, well, that's fun. I see. If Sylvia heard you right now, she'd be real mad at you right now. Got it. I couldn't say anything after all that she had told me. Ella, as of this very moment, she probably liked me. But I was sure that didn't mean a relationship with me would be allowed as part of her life as a knight. So then, I couldn't interfere. She was the only one who could decide what color her life would take on. After several apologies from Ella afterwards, we said our goodbyes. Oh, that's so depressing. Huh. <sighs> I got turned down, huh? There was another beautiful sunset when I looked up into the sky. It was golden, but not a golden time indeed. Not very golden, if I say so myself. ん <laughs> Oh no, don't tell that, please. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Morning. Uh, uh. That was the same as she always was. Calm, courteous, and hyper vigilant. The hyper vigilant to the world around her and so we. Ella really did have a mature air about her. Now that's that's mommy stuff. That's the mommy energy they were talking about. Maybe she had lived in a different world for me from the very start. She definitely does. As long as just like Sylvia, just like Rain. Man, though she's too young to be engaged. Lunch break. Headed somewhere I could be alone. For now. Ah, man. I was totally her usual self in class. And she didn't seem at all phased after what happened yesterday. That was so frustrating. It was like she left me in the dust. 
Maybe she did, maybe she didn't. We spent the same time together. But Ella was steadily making progress down the path she needed to lead. I was stuck in place, watching her from afar. And it felt like she was leaving me further and further behind. Huh? Oh. Yes? I was startled when Ella called my name out of nowhere. Christ. Let me be sad. Ah, yes. This was about dinner? It wouldn't shock me if she put it on hold given what had just happened the day before. Or so I thought. Huh? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, anything from you I look forward to. Even the bidding. I'm trying to check my camera how it's doing. Oh, we're cool. She up and left in a hurry once we laid out tonight's dinner plans. Bro, how could you just act like nothing? Ah, oh, heck nah. I guess we weren't putting anything on hold after all. Uh, I was kind of happy yet somewhat mortified that she seriously wasn't bothered by what had happened yesterday. My whole mood could be summed up as, ah. Oh. Yeah, me too. I feel that. I feel that heavily. Nah, it's taking a toll on her too, 100%. An experience on what? What do you mean? They wore on and Ella was acting like her usual self. Sure. And so I tried to do the same. Tried. Our weekend was a little weird, but that's all there was to it. That was just how Ella and I were. Great. Nah, normal's fine. It's cold out today, so I think bored would be better. I attended to the cooking from start to finish. The straight-laced, high-class female knight from the ginormous estate was making dinner for me. This should be, by all rights, sheer luxury on its own. I couldn't ask for anything more. Nah, you definitely could. Absolutely. Know your worth, king. Oh, it looks like you're not staying over today, or late. That sucks. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like the synergy between the two. So, ugh. I I don't I don't like it at all. I almost prefer her hating Oro than them two acting weird. It's so uncomfortable even for me, and it's not even. It's fiction. It's a fictional story. Our relationship didn't worsen in any particular way. We went back to a mutually ideal emotional distance from each other, to what was supposed supposed to be a mutually ideal distance anyway. Look around, silly ghost. Why is that shocking? Bro, you're a whole night. <laughs> of course, everyone has their off days. Come on now. Oh, another uncomfortable moment with Ellie for now. Uh, you've been spacing out since earlier. Did something happen? Asked her casually, but Ella shook her head with a strained grin, as if to tell me it was nothing. That being the case, I didn't pry any further. I didn't pay Ella's odd behavior much mind on that day. But, 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 but...
That's a weird transition. There was no sound either. The day after. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Uh-huh. And then day after that, Ella looked visibly upset for some reason. I was, of course, worried about her now that I had gotten to this point. This is so weird. I hate this. Again? Y'all finally caught on. Bro, Oro just boned her already so she could play at 100 already. Jeez. This is so whack. <laughs> what was that noise? For a sec, I thought she said, ah, oh, dang, they're both going full tit. I don't know why I saw tit instead of tilt. Oh, man. Selective sight. Hmm? Oh, sorry. It looked like it had been a pain in the butt, so I was just ignoring them. I know the old word for December. Shiwasu. Shiwasu? Shiwasu? Was made up of the kanji for teacher and running. That wouldn't hold up as an explanation unless you were one yourself, but your joke wouldn't make sense for any other reason. That's a reason that would instantly click with any Japanese person. Man, this is why I like Sylvie. She's always energetic. Isn't that nice? I cannot tell him I did not know that. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's because of the upcoming competition. Winter break started next week. Winter break started next week. So the athletic clubs generally rain back on activities during this season. This girl was actually in the track club, but she had seemed bored lately. There they went. Those two ran around like they owned the place, but it was probably fine since the field was empty. There were no outdoor club activities today. Hardly any voices could be heard in the halls of Noble Academy as it was largely just the fencing club occupying the martial arts dojo. Even the fencing club would be winding down on end of year practice sessions once the championship match was over on Sunday. Ah, just occurred to me, but the competition was the day after tomorrow? Only a little longer until my relationship with Ella ended. Ella and I would rarely see each other now that Noble Academy was on new winter break and club meetings were on hold until class had resumed. I doubt she would complain if I went to her estate to visit if it really came down to it, but... Hmm. Oh. Ah, what's up? Lingering rain got right up in my face out of nowhere. Huh? Ah. Uh, I wasn't exactly being called over. But a familiar face was looking my way. She looked like she wanted to talk, but was too apprehensive to speak up. Had something happened? Something the matter? 
This was the club advisor. She'd help me out a few times when I was hanging around the fencing club. She seemed to have some business with me. I was in a slump. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Mm hmm Since the start of the week. So, some difference from last week? I had one heck of an idea what it was. Oh man. What about the match? Don't tell me she can't compete. まさか。もう登録は終わってるし、会が務まるようなレベルの子もいないよ。でも今の調子だと日曜の試合でこんな成績出しちゃうかもしれなくて。A whole week of oof. Right, but isn't that just how matches go? Oh, dude, that guy bugs. Komiya. That older journalist from a while back? He was apparently still following out Every club member will be seen as lackluster? Impressions from the outcome of a single competition would surely fall by the wayside in no time. But if they were able to be published in a magazine, it would stick around semi-permanently in print. Sure. Pinning this on me put me in a tough spot. But I was sure her advisor wanted something to cling to and she ultimately relayed her concerns to me. Man, though this started this week, could only be one thing then. Oh, yup. Yup, yup, yup. Sound like she was aware of it. Um, as far as that goes, uh, does any reason come to mind? So this me. Ella put a hand to her chin and pondered. What's the matter, dude? Jeez. Oh, I get it. It's the porn. Hmm? This didn't make full sense to me, but you do have some idea, don't you? Maybe it really is all because of me? Think about it. Didn't this all start this week? Are you finally going to tell him? Please do. So it is my fault. Dang it, what had I done? But he kept up this facade for weeks for Ellie's sake, and here I was standing in her way when she was so close to finish line. Sorry, Ellie. It is all because of me. Huh? She was mumbling about something so I couldn't make that out. But I could only imagine this was my fault. What should I do to get her to concentrate on a competition? Smoke weed. My weird pop is it. I don't actually uh, support that. Don't do drugs. My weird proposition, all because I wanted to be real lovers, had thrown her off the gear game. Up, the, up, the, up, the, up for game. If that were true, there was only one, only one answer. Oh, now we're about to get even more depressing. Oh man, how much time do we have? Thirteen minutes. I really hope it doesn't end super depressing. I'm not going to sleep tonight. Oh, I didn't even read that. Hold on. Let me try again. Let me try again. Let me try again. Hold on. One sec. Why don't we put an end to this whole lover's thing? We've only got a couple of days left, and I doubt any of those creepy photographers will show up anyway. A reporter from a weekly magazine would be there, but that was irrelevant considering he had already made arrangements regardless of whether we were dating. I'm pretty sure there's no point in us staying lovers anymore. So, so, this, ne? so let's go back to the way we used to be, okay? She should be able to devote herself to fencing without any reservations now. 
If I could take back that idiotic confession I made to her a week ago, then this never would have happened and she could go back to normal. God, how is this getting worse? I hate this. Oh my god. It shouldn't bug me that much because I'm thinking, okay, it's a visual novel. Usually, usually it ends well. But this, this is bugging me. Oh my god. Like, they just cannot speak up on either end. They're terrible at it. It's frustrating. <laughs> yeah. It was unfortunate, but unavoidable. Without any especially dramatic goodbye, our time as pretend lovers was now over. This was all based on Sylvie's orders, so we couldn't exactly go with an overblown breakup anyway. Later that night, after enjoying my last meal with Ellie, God, I would have been crying eating that last meal. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. See you next week at school. Oh no, don't call us that. Uh, sure, hello son. She looks so sad. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this. She made her way out. This was for the best, right? I almost got in her way, but we worked together until the very end and I supported her every step of the way. All that was left was to pray that everything went smoothly for her on Sunday. I think you just made it a whole lot worse, buddy. I had done the right thing. No, you did not. That much I believed. I don't. I do not believe. Oh, my God. This is so messy. See, and a whole silent transition, too. That's how you know it's depressing AF. Uh, hey, you're back. Our favorite uh, little sister. Actually, I was thinking it might be n nice to be a lazy bum today. Uh, about heroin. <laughs> I mean, heroin. Um, like I said, I just want to lounge around all day. I'd better not. I had already broken things off with her. We had gone back to being ordinary classmates. Wouldn't going to watch her practice be overkill for our classmate? I wouldn't go to watch her like that. I had absolutely no intention of going to watch. And I only came here because I was on a walk. Given that it was the end of the term, there were fewer spots, fewer sports clubs and sessions than last week. The few voices you could hear on campus belonged to the martial arts clubs. Which meant that this really was just part of my walk. I went to check out the martial arts wing to see what the fencing club was up to. I could see how it was in the middle of practice, but... Not the outcome I had expected. Ella was in the same slump as before and she wasn't nearly as agile as before. Then again, it had only been one day. Maybe instant improvement was too much to ask for? That thought crossed my mind. Ah, uh, fancy club advisor. Uh, about Ella? Yes. The advisor spotted me and brought me somewhere Ella wouldn't see. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Huh? Why? Dang. Oof. Huh? What the? Uh, yeah. <sighs> The teacher scratched her head, seemingly flustered as she made her way back. What? This really was my fault. If I gave it some serious thought, Ella was in the slope because I wanted to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Strictly speaking, she had lost her concentration because I genuinely wanted to be her lover. Of course, canceling the whole arrangement without warning was going to confuse her even more. 
What the heck was I doing? I don't know. Good question, buddy. Everything I did was backfiring. What was the root cause? Was it that I fell in love with her? No, before that. Was it because I had pretended to be lovers with her at all? I thought it was in Ella's best interest and internet inter interest and <laughs> let me ask me. Oh? No, wait. I had the wrong idea. The incident where she acted rashly last week aside, it was something fundamental. My mistake was... Ah. The fencing club got out of practice early in preparation for the competition tomorrow. Ella stuck around for a while after. She must have been worried about her poor performance. Regardless, she wrapped everything up around dinner time. Good work. <laughs> Ella approached me with a beaming smile without paving her sump or otherwise any mind. I read that right. Okay, cool. Should I call her Ellison? This was complicated. Looks like you can't shake that slump. I see. I said that with a complex expression. Thanks to that look she made, I thought I had figured out the reason behind her slump. Ella couldn't concentrate and that much appeared to be obvious. Hey, Ella. Hi. After what happened yesterday, I probably should have come back to calling her Ella, son, and she had me curiously when I dropped the honorific. She didn't look displeased, however. At this point in our relationship, she was totally just Ella to me. How did you feel when we first started the date? <gasps> we became lovers because Sylvie ordered us to, right? How did that make you feel? Oh, that's not nice. I doubted this was a lie. Then, how about when I told you I loved you? She mumbled that distressed reply. The gist of my question just now had been kind of awful and I may have jumped again a little bit. However, I was willing to bet that hadn't been a lie. What was it in Ella's nature to lie? As long as she didn't personally consider it a lie, anyway. Well then, tomorrow's the final fencing match. How do you feel now? Is that right? This was probably not a lie either. Ella herself didn't think so anyway. Her body language, however, was most definitely denying it. A part of you doesn't want to keep doing it? Doesn't part of you hate the idea of tomorrow being the last time? Don't you want to keep doing it even after that? Ella, don't you love fencing? Don't you want to keep practicing it? I bet that's largely where your slump is coming. Oh, she snapped back decisively. God, I feel like... You know what, I'm going to save this comment till later. She shut me up in a hurry. Ella noticed that her tone had been a bit strong and cleared her throat. <笑>今日は帰らせてもらいます。今日まで this is rough. She reverted to her usual candid self and went on her way. Ah, I was no match for intensity. I couldn't chase after her. Ah, I was sure that probably wasn't a lie either. Namely the part about her having no intention of continuing. Nah, I don't think she was capping. Ella genuinely believed that she had chosen what was necessary for herself and that complying with it was to be her lifestyle. For all those reasons, I doubted it had even crossed her mind, the thought. 
I would continue. Oh man, what was I supposed to say? That was Ella's value system. I didn't have the nerve to chase after Ellie, so I resumed my walk from earlier that afternoon and to find somewhere I could be alone. Alone? No, it's more like... Is our homie up here? Please be here. I sought out someone I could rely on. Ah, yes. Ah, I love Ria. Hey. Dang, it's been that long? Honestly, one of the best parts, too, about this game is just coming up here and talking to her. She has, like, the most... She could be a little spicy and a little mean, but, like, sometimes she just be dropping the hardest wisdom for no reason. Around that, yeah. As usual, Ryo was smoking one of her cigarettes. She was the only one I ever went to when I was hurt. She wouldn't say anything and call for her, after all. No reason. Not that I had any intention of whining and being dependent on her, obviously. Okay. Man, I wish you'd been a little kinder. You're my childhood friend, so be nicer. Huh? Ryo was the one who brought up the subject with Ale. How did they go? Well, not too great. Or maybe more like, I'm supporting her way of life. Huh? I know, that's what I was thinking too as I read it. Hmm. Ah, that? Oh yeah, that had come up quite a while back. I hadn't told Ria yet. But the incident where an Instagram had been in Japan in those days? I swear she never came. That had been one of those loose ends, huh? Well, I was sure it was one of Ella's relatives. Hmm? Who? Huh? Seriously? Impressive. She had one heck of a memory if she could recall something from our pre-elementary school days. Jeez, that's the alarm, guys. Shut up, alarm. I'm gonna do five more minutes after it. Huh? I forgot who I was but...誰がイスタって名字を名乗ってたか。シルビーだ。イスタ。I Siswa was the name of the Sorlage royal family. But it was different before? That meant... What did that mean? That had the mean? Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, not the cliffhanger. Huh? That's only if my memory is correct, though. And it turned out I should perhaps call Lucky someone who knew her circumstances was close at hand. That night, I probably looked into the intel from earlier. But in the past, Sobi used the Ista family name when she introduced herself. Wouldn't that have to mean the loathing on Mina-chan's face was blatant? Uh, mm. So it really was serious. Mina-chan shook her head. Sorry. She called Sylvia on her cell phone. もしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもし
。あれが。えらいあっさりと許可がおりましたわ。いや、that sounds like Sylvie. I could hear Sylvie's carefree voice through the receiver, but it sounded like it went just how it, I'd hoped it would. Yes, Got it. What sort of pretty face was that? Mm-hmm. An adopted daughter. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, I think I remember this from one of the previous roots. Hmm. Now that she mentioned it, yeah, golden and silver. It was a trivial difference, but genetically speaking, light pigmentation like that should be recessive. Save for special instances where a gene skipped a generation, the idea they were blood related was highly suspect. Sus. And if Sylvie's golden hair had come from the Ista family's gene pool, Then Ella, who had the same blonde hair, would be. What? Who would be what? Are Sylvia and Ella blood related sisters? Whoa, what? What a shocker! If I really gave it some thought, their sun colored hair, the impression from their facial features, and their exceptional figures, they were spitting images of each other when you put it all together. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> But it was a surprise. Ella and Sylvie were blood related sisters. I never would have guessed that. Wait, but they're in the same school year? Ah, I see. I guess I had heard that in the fencing club. I'm sure there are politics to some extent. Between corruption, special interests, and mutual backstabbing, politicians in Japan could be a sordid bunch too. However, foreign countries spoke of us like we were some ideal nation. To this end, members of the Sisuo family are highly knowledgeable of piano, ballet, and music related matters in general. Hmm, interesting. And then those black suited guards mentioned it, hadn't they? That they were part of the Imperial Knight fashion. Even if two forces should hypothetically join hands, it's human nature to have no idea what's going on in their innermost thoughts. Oh. The same thing happened between <laughs> yes, the son of the Tokugawa's and Yoshimune san here in Japan. So I think the same thing happens everywhere. Hmm. 
So they decided to reconcile? Wow, interesting way of doing things, I suppose. Equal. So if a daughter of the Siswa family was offered the Ista? Well, that's what's over is. If I won't pick you with my words. Maybe a hostage? So he is a hostage? しっくりくる表現ですわね。そうです。あ、ハステージ。しっくりは来るものの正しいとは言いかねます。私は知る美容姉様をあれとして愛していますわ。そしてお姉様も私や私の兄弟姉妹、つまり小さけの人間を家族
爆弾派に属するのですから音楽の才能の良し悪しうんエロイナよりシルビーお姉様の方がほんの少しだけ音楽に秀でていただけ Slightly? That's crazy Having your whole life drastically altered for that reason is what makes royalty such a terrifying world to be a part of. Hmm, not wrong. You're strong. Based on this thought process, royalty absolutely had to be different from ordinary people. I wonder how it was for Ella. How do you think she felt when she had to view her little sister as her master? I wonder, where does her sense of loyalty towards Silver right now come from? Really? Recently? What? でも。そうですわね。イスタケは騎士の家系とはいえ、本来騎士の称号は極めて神聖かつ多大な責任を伴うものです。通常ならば、いかにイスタケのものとはいえ、20代も後半にならねば受けられないほどの。うん。That hmm. was it. This was what had been bothering me. So was black suited guards, the knights. She had plenty, but Ella was the only one who had come on the campus as a student. Among the knights, Ella alone was extraordinarily young. Jeez. After that, Ella joined Sylvia Abroad. I see. I understood the reasons that had been so ambiguous to me until now for Ella's real loyalty. Huh. Oh, yeah, kind of. I just feel kind of brokenhearted. Of course it was disappointing, but I doubt there was any room for me between Ella and Sylvia to say nothing would be between the night Ella and the royal family. If Ella's engagement was for the benefit of the royal family, I would have no choice but to give up. Huh? Because of Ella's engagement. Huh? Oh, our stories weren't lining up. Ah, maybe that was it. Nothing Mina Chan had just told me had anything to do with Ella's engagement. Wait a sec. Really? But she said her marriage prospects were already settled or something like that. She replied point blank. Huh? Huh? But Ella said before that she was engaged. Had she? Or, or that was just an excuse. Or, or you just assumed. I understood engagement too, I don't know. Or so she said in that impressively roundabout way. But she hadn't said she was engaged. Huh? What? Wow. Oh, Rony? さすが一ね。当時の私のこと、名字まで覚えてたなんて。シルビー様、その件は部外費です。公然とはいえ、民間人に明かすことは許されません。あ、そうだったかしら。もう。失礼します。ああ、どたえるちん。<笑><笑><
Mino-chan had just left. Yes. Yes, ma'am. I wasn't expecting her to drop a bombshell like that on me either. So we used a different name a long time ago. Anyone who heard that would definitely be curious why. It was only natural that I want to ask. I never thought a royal family secret would come out of it so readily. Yes, okay. <laughs> I guess I can't deny that. The cause lay with the bombshells all around me rather than me personally, to be accurate. Thanks, Ria. But everything kind of fits now. Like the reason you treasured Sylvie so much, for instance? Sylvie was her blood related little sister, after all. Now, you can't say was, like literally she is. They're just not considered family because she got adopted to a different one. But still, they're still sisters. DNA said so. Their propositions may have been altered, but that was an inseparable bond. Really? I see. True, my description just now was really early. To one who served as a knight every single day. But, but, you know, Ella. Hi. Allegiance and self sacrifice are different. This conversation had cleared away every question I had about Ella. Yeah, same here. You know, for so long I was like, why is she so. Uh, about Sylvie and it's like supposedly the her because she's a knight and all stuff it's like oh yeah it's just you know she's doing it because of the fam or whatever and other reasons right but it would make sense also that it may have to do a little bit at least a bit that it's literally her sister <laughs> it makes sense now this conversation I cleared away every every question I had about Ellen why she had pledged so much loyalty to Sylvie while she had stubbornly rejected fencing, which she wanted to continue badly enough it would put her in the slump. And while her engagement was predetermined even though she didn't actually have a fiancé. Don't you have your own life? No, she does not. Yep. I know you're devoted. But why quit fencing over it? Why try to pick your marriage partner solely for the sake of friendship between the Siswas and Nistas? <laughs> Ella faced away as I poked holes into her logic. I should have known. I really had gotten the wrong idea about it. If I actually thought it through, there was no way Ella had a fiance. Someone as straight laced as Ella was engaged, she never would have had pretended lovers with another man like myself. Especially a man like himself. Wasn't this past month that spent proof she wasn't engaged? Not at all. Not at all, ma'am. Well, yeah, there is. I love you, Ale. So I don't want to give up on you for some imaginary fiance. Well, even writing this off as my own whim. So he's bothered by it too. She can't believe you're throwing fencing away for her sake, especially when you love it as much as you do. What you're doing isn't allegiance, it's dependence. Ella was shaken. She clearly didn't want to point it out, but she likely had a vague idea of that fact herself. Felt bad phrasing it as dependence, but had zero intention of fully denying it either. Everyone gets involved in some organization or another at some point in their life, and it's extremely rare to not become dependent on it. Be it a knight, a warrior, what a warrior, or what have you made for the perfect example. It was their honor to be dependent and serve their country or royal family. But Sylvie didn't want that at all. And if so, that needed to be conveyed to her in no uncertain terms. Sylvie doesn't want you to be dependent on her. She wants you to lead your own life. Would it hurt anything if you didn't quit fencing? You are free to live for Sylvie's sake, but if you love fencing, let's search for some path where the two can at least coexist. That's what Sylvie wants. 
So we wanted Ella to continue fencing, so that much was true. That's what she said. Ah, oh, wait, wait. I assume you just thought you'd continue when you heard Sylvie wants you to. Yes. You can't keep doing that. That is dependence. You find fencing fun and want to continue, then do it. If you don't, then quit. What we want is for you to make that choice on your own. I get that. This seems kind of complicated to me, too. I wasn't very smart and I found it difficult to verbalize those feelings. But, yeah. But if I repeated something she'd said... You know, doesn't your life belong to you? <laughs> You're alive. Doesn't this time belong to you and you alone? I believe everyone is free to lead their own life however they choose. Whether that means a lifestyle of dashing full throttle out of a desire to be golden, or a leisurely lifestyle that's subdued and unassuming. But the one who makes that choice should be you, personally. I... I once made a decision that cost me my teammates, my friends, everyone. But I don't regret it. My choice was to pretend to be cool. Ah yes, we do know about that choice. Isn't that interesting? My choice was to pretend to be cool. I don't know whether I succeeded, but even now, I don't regret that decision. Come to think of it, Ella was the only one who knew about my past. She gave a tiny nod. That's how I wanted to be for you too, Ella. The one thing I want is for you to make a decision. I have no clue whether it'll lead to a future that's a shining gold or subdued and unassuming, but... But... Huh? Hmm. Oh, 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 all right. Finally. Ella leaned her face in close for a surprise attack. <laughs> I was so startled. Gonna respond to the gesture in time. Ella has swooped in and pressed her lips against mine as if it were the most natural thing in the world. Oh, yes, the moaning. That's my favorite part. That's our chasm, by the way. Our first kiss in a week. This time around, her kiss felt so much softer compared to the last time when I had initiated it. <gasps> huh? Huh? What? Was that the sort of conversation that led into a kiss just now? Ella giggled then. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, I think that's how it's meant to be. でも Hey yo. Oh, she kissed me again. She kissed me like it were only natural and my heart ached at the incredibly soft sensation of her lips. <laughs> Ella smiled happily. Hey yo, what? あなたと婚約したいです。へいよ、what?。あ、おっしゃる通り、シルビーが死産家に行くことになった時から、私は将来はシルビーと姉妹に戻る。小さい頃のことなので、そんな考えもあったのかも。Bro, <笑> but like she's literally still your sister, you don't have to It does not it does not have to not be that way, you know? Jeez. 今になっても婚約するならば 両家の家系の族女として最も有効な道を選ぶつもりでしたが。That line of thinking suited someone like Ella, who was both the knight and the daughter of a high-class family. でも、やめです。Proud of you. 私はあなたと婚約したい。今答えが出ました。私、エロイナディ、カバレロイスタは一末オロ。あなたを愛しています。he said, yeah. <laughs> I was blindsided by her direct professional love and it left me feeling flustered. 
Actually, as far as that goes, I honestly figured you would take things more slowly. Figured she'd got on board with the idea eventually, but I was more so focused on getting this fencing thing situated than pursue her in earnest afterward. But Ella. Oh, I'm sorry, Ella. Oh. She was as candid as ever. Oh, <laughs> that slipped out. I would never. I will love you forever and ever, he said. I fully intended on pursuing her romantically in the future and was surprised she'd agreed to it so soon. We all are. I mean, again, visual novel happy ending, but I still wasn't expecting her to go all the way to marriage type thing. That's crazy. Kaela, she fell into my arms. Oh. Oh. However, I could have better a sudden weight and lost my balance. The weight of those jugs. Thus, falling backward on the bed. <laughs> Now that we were safely on the bed, I pulled her in the tight embrace. Then, we don't need to worry about you being in a slump anymore? Really? Glad to hear it. That was a relief. I was relieved to hear she loved me, but the competition was far more important right now. She'd worked so hard recently, and I wanted her to do well during her match. <laughs> yeah, he did. 100%. The marriage thing. Huh? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I was a little off. Whoops. Ella leaned in close. She kissed me again. It was because... Really? So this whole thing really was my fault? <laughs> I was glad she got back on her feet at least. Not yet, actually. Oh, but today's supposed to be. I said she wouldn't be making me dinner going forward, but. Jeez. Elegant <laughs> Shirley. I was so happy. She got together the various ingredients needed to prepare the same dish we'd shared on her first day as pretend lovers, cream stew. It had been rather chilly out lately and I was incredibly grateful for it. Delicious. We quietly ate together. There were no gleeful cheers of delicious, so yummy. We were sharing one of Ella's home cooked meals and it tasted incredible. These dinners felt like part of our new normal, so there was no reason to get antsy anymore. Thank you for dinner. We calmly placed our hands together. Even though we just started dating, we were already starting to act like a middle aged couple. Well, with that, nothing was especially out of the ordinary. But we were no longer pretend lovers. W. Next would come. Bone in time. Yep. I let promptly going home was part of our usual routine. Going home? Ah, um, listen. Hi. I suddenly stopped her. Frankly, it would stuck. It would stuck suck to just send her home now that we were no longer pretending to be lovers. I really wanted to kiss her again. Let's see. Um, so grabs Betty's, kisses her. Uh, I want to kiss you. Oh man, I couldn't tell her that. Not only would it be embarrassing, but we just finished eating dinner, and I was worried I had bad breath. Yeah. Listen, 
would be a safe way to go home so early over a lame reason like that. I wanted to spend a little more time with Ellie and to help make that happen. How about after a shower like we usually do? You haven't had your post-practice shower yet, right? Or did he take one when you went home earlier? Yeah. Ella did two things whenever she came here. Make dinner and shower. Not only was it not unnatural, it would give me a decent amount of time. Nice going, me. <laughs> what? Time for what? Yeah, they headed to the bathroom. Okay, then. What? <laughs> Broke out a brand new toothbrush and cleaned my mouth like my life depended on it. Brushed enthusiastically enough that I might sand my teeth down, then switched around some mouthwash. <gasps> was the mint smell too strong? Even if my mouth were clean, she'd probably think I was getting ahead of myself. I rinsed out my mouth with water, swish, swish. All right. Oh, pfft. Celebrating, we told you that. Boy, it's almost nine o'clock. This episode is way too long. <laughs> How long have I been recording for? An hour and a half. Nothing, don't worry about it. Ellie came back out surprisingly quickly. Sure. Born and after marriage? Huh? Oh, she was totally talking about boning. I didn't really understand what she was getting at. Then, Ellie, um... Uh, not good. It was great. I had brushed my teeth and all, but the time in between made it difficult me, for me to suggest that we should kiss. What should I do? I had just gotten the okay earlier, so I don't want her to think I was being a predator. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think they both are misunderstanding. So you could have kept on sticker. Demo, Nihon no Joski deva, Chingano de Shoka. Do see you. What should I do? We had both gone stiff. Um, oh, I know. Well, why don't I dry your hair? Ah, hi, so this ne, onemashimas. Then. This was part of our usual routine. I fetched the hairdryer and the towel. I had her sit on the bed with me behind her. Slowly combed through her hair with the gentle heat and air pressure. Sure haven't. Once we got back in our usual rhythm, the mood naturally lightened. We haven't done this for the past week, after all. Now that you mention it, isn't your hair a little messy? There's some slight roughness as I pass my fingers through. I bet you did a sloppy job drying it this past week. Uh, Went to all that effort too. Try to take care of it, okay? <laughs> all of a sudden. Only for you. I have zero interest in figuring out the quality of anyone else's hair. <laughs> Continue to smoothly tease her hair. <laughs> huh? When my fingers touched her scalp, Alice stirred a bit ticklishly. Whenever I did this until just a short time ago, I had felt like I had done something wrong, hadn't it? But now it was fun. Touch, touch. Uh, uh, hey, yo. Uh, Alright, you know what? Oh, it just felt like it. I gave her head a pet. Um, oh, I wouldn't put it that way. <laughs> Since I am tickling you, yeah. <sighs> Ella protested with sidelong glance. A perfect distance. I kissed her. I get it now. I didn't have to go out of my way to say I wanted to, rather. I could just lean in close when the mood was right. If the mood fit, I could kiss her anytime. Oh, jeez. Going limp? What does that even mean? Oop. 
It was more effective than I had imagined and the other flopped feebly over backwards in place. Which was fine since we were in the bed, but... Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so in case you haven't realized, and, and or not even realized, I'm not even going to put it that way. And I have to wrap it up there. It's literally been almost two hours. Uh, it's a super long episode. I hope you enjoyed. But anyways, I'm going to do five more minutes. I'm going to do five more minutes. I'm going to do five more minutes. Going back to what I was about to say. When... They're about the bone. They usually do like a little white screen and then da 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 and then it just does a transition. And the reason I know this is because I realized that when I first did the 18 plus version with Sylvie's route, you know, when there was about to be a boning scene, you know, it happened, blah, blah, blah. But when I took off the 18 plus patch back to normal, the part where there was about to be a boning part, it would just skip right over it, you know? And so I figured, okay, that's where some action was gonna happen and obviously we're gonna skip it through so they ended up boning that's crazy all right cool awesome what happened to marriage Ella? caught lacking well anyways man i have a lot to say about this episode i was really worried about this episode which might have to contribute to why i decided to extend it even more because i was just unhappy with how it was going i was just like hey yo i do not like the energy between them right now it just did not sit right with me and it was just it was just getting messier and messier, and somehow Odo was making it worse. And I was like, bro, what are you, what are you doing? Just, just stop. I'm glad. It, uh, it's working out, it seems. This route is so good. This route is really, really, really good. And like I've said before, the more I play this route, the more I like it. And now I'm like, man. Sylvia's route was good. Raina's route was good. Riss's route was good. They just are not making it easy. The shoes. <laughs> oh my god. Like seriously. And what's funny too is that, or if you have played Senran Banka, if you have read Senran Banka, there's a character named Mako, which is one of my favorite characters of visual novels that I've played. Um, she has a similar story, just like Ella where They serve only their master or whoever, their person, right? And pretty much most of the game, at least when it's not their route, they just seem to be just like the servant or the bodyguard or the whatever. And you think, oh, they're kind of whack. Like, they don't really have any personality. They don't seem to have much personality. But then the root comes and then you're like, holy crap. They had all of this going on and we had no idea. It's very similar to Mako's where I was like, oh, Ella is this, Ella is that. But now I'm playing Ella and I'm like, holy crap, she's amazing. And that's how I was with Mako too, which is bamboozling i really gotta stop talking crap before i get into one well i'm honestly just extremely surprised about the route like i've enjoyed it so much more than i thought i was you know and i ended up making it a super long episode like if you've noticed with the other routes i never went this long overboard in terms of recording like i got so invested into this that i just went way beyond what i was supposed to do like i basically recorded two episodes here, here because i almost did two hours and usually i record for about an hour which is crazy. <laughs> that says a lot. That says a lot, I think. I'm loving Nelly. And I'm loving her. It's it's really good. Very, very good. And again, I'm glad it seems to be working out now. But anyways, I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed a super, super long episode. Again, I did not mean to go this long. But I got so invested in this route that I was like, oh my god, I need to see what's going on. Or I can't let it end on a bad note. Like, I hate this. Because... I know that leaving on a bad note would also mean I would not read it either until I would record again, which would not be till a few days, and I just did not want to wait. <laughs> oh, man. And now that I'm thinking even more, I'm going to be really sad when it ends. Enjoy while it lasts. Thank you so much for being here and making it this far. I mean, if, obviously, if you're watching now, you made it this far. Thank you so much for that. Like, that's a lot of time. I really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. I hope i really really hope you enjoyed this episode as much as i did i was so invested oh my god but i was like i gotta stop I'm, i literally have to go to bed right now i've been recording for two hours now if you did enjoy this video please let me know by hitting that like it would it would greatly mean a lot to me i would really appreciate it and if you have not subscribed and you made it this far please consider subscribing please i mean you made it this far why haven't you anyways i'm out of here 
once again, thank you so much for watching. It really means the world to me. If you want to see more games like these or something completely different, please let me know in the comment section below or on social media. I'm out of here. Y'all stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next video as always. Until next time, guys.